our latest moonshot, which is called Project Loon. We're interested in finding a way to help the 4.5 billion people on this planet who have little or no internet access to have internet access. The amount of economic prosperity and uh, vitality, health, education that would be released to the world by those 4.5 billion people having internet is almost incalculable. So huge problem, check. We're gonna do it with stratospheric balloons. And we're gonna do it by having the balloons go up and down just a little bit, just one, two, three kilometers probably. But by being really smart about the winds up in the stratosphere, this is uh, about 18 to 25 kilometers, sort of uh, 60,000 to 100,000 feet. By going up just a little bit and catching winds that are pointed at slightly different angles and at slightly different speeds, we can actually sail and thereby control where they go, at least to some extent. So early days, this is still very experimental. We just demonstrated it in New Zealand over the weekend. Um, but science fiction sounding product or service, check. Um, possible to do, well, since we just did it last weekend, uh, check. But that's still not a story. What's the story? I mean, you could say that the story is low cost internet access for those who without internet access. I guess that sounds like a positive story. That'll take us somewhere good. But I think there's something more. Let me give you two other perspectives. Perspective number one is that just like with Makani, where you were taking this huge industrial solution, this 20th century solution, and replacing all of that steel with a hard materials and control system problem, by making something secure and functional, by embedding intelligence in the product, rather than trying to um, make it over-engineered to solve the same problem. This is the same thing. Instead of making big steel towers for internet access, or solving it via the Ferrari solution, which is making satellites up in space, neither of which really scale to the whole planet. What if you had a huge number of really inexpensive things, each of which only had a small amount of control, but when taken together, could get you the kind of coverage that you wanted for areas that don't have internet access right now, huge areas potentially. The thing that excites me, the thing that I believe is the story behind Loon, really, is that this might be the first time in human history where giving something valuable to everyone who needs it might actually be cheaper than giving it just to the lucky few. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that makes me happy. When you take a moonshot, you have to start by seeing the world differently, that perspective shifting I was talking about. Then, when you've seen the world differently, you have to come up with a solution that is now evident, that didn't look possible before, that now looks possible. And then you have to make it. That last one is a technology problem, but the first two are creativity problems. Storytelling is not the wrapping and the bow that goes around the outside of a change the world invention. It's literally the foundation upon which a change the world invention is built. And you guys can go out and build that foundation with every team and every company that you work with. You can coach them. You can guide them. You can inspire them. I hope this inspires you to go light a moonshot in the hearts and minds of at least one of your clients. <laughs>